A lot of you are facing this issue where you can't get past the activation screen that says activate your Roku TV and sign in or create your account. Or maybe you're stuck in the email verification page and it doesn't refresh even after you have clicked the link on your email. And in this video I'll show you some granted ways to fix any of these issues. Let's begin. First, if you can't get past the activation page and the remote doesn't seem to work, the OK button doesn't do anything, then maybe your remote has unpaired itself. So what we can do is try pairing it back. To do that, just hold on the back and the home button together for about 5 seconds and you should see your remote's logo on your TV screen, which means your remote is now paired. Now you should be able to activate your Roku TV from here. If this wasn't the issue, then try power cycling the TV by unplugging the power cord wait for around 5 minutes, then plug it back in and try the setup process. If you're still stuck, we'll go straight to factory resetting our TV using the factory reset button. It should be at the back of your TV along with all the ports. Just hold it down for 10 to 15 seconds and then release it. The TV will reset and come back to the setup screen from where you can start afresh and this time it should work. Another very common reason behind activation or verification issues is unstable internet connection. To fix this, you can either try restarting your router or use a different Wi-Fi on your TV. To go back to the Wi-Fi page, just grab a remote and press the back button. Now from there, you can hit scan again to see all networks, then connect to a different Wi-Fi or your phone's hotspot. Now you should have no issues verifying your email and completing the setup. If you're still stuck in the verification page or the activation QR code, even after clicking activate on the email, then the solution that worked for us was changing the login type. And to change that, you can just grab the remote once again and press the back button, then select yes cancel and return to sign in. Now just select a different type of email, for example if you are using the QR code, select enter email address and then do it manually, and vice versa. Alternatively, you can try using a different device to verify the email and if it still doesn't work, you can try linking your Roku TV with a different email address altogether. And there's no reason why it shouldn't work. So now you should be able to verify your email address and link your Roku TV successfully. Go ahead and try this fix us, make sure to let us know which one worked and I'll see you around. 